guys, and before this video starts, I would just like to say, spo maybe spoil your warning for Godzilla vs. Kong, because we are reviewing the Godzilla vs. Kong playmates King Kong and Atomic Ref Breathing Godzilla. The reason I say Atomic Ref Breathing is because there's a second one that is Cyan, and I hate it. <laughs> Because I do not like what they did for the spines, and here they did this beautiful glow. So, actually, I want to start with Kong, because, uh, I don't know, the axe, I think, will be cool. So, as you can see, I, the box, you have King Kong fighting Godzilla at the top, of course, it's Godzilla vs. Kong. And I love how they added the Monarch and Monsterverse at the bottom. Nice touch. And I wish they did actually more of a cityscape in the background. Even though I do love the blue and the orange finishes. Not finishes. <laughs> but it, the blue and the orange, they help blend well together. And back of the box, this is even bigger spoiler warning. We have Godzilla Tom Breath Breathing, which we have right here. Um, the, wait. Oh, King Kong with Fighter Jet. I didn't know which King Kong that was. We also have the skull crawler. We finally got a skull crawler figure. Thank God. Wow. Thank God. And then uh, the Rego Tower Godzilla and Warbat. Ugh, hate that name. <laughs> what? Well, I, I I'm just gonna call it Nozuki. Warbat is a horrible name. It sounds like a three-year-old named it. It's a Warbat. No, it's a Nozuki. So I do say, how about we open this up? At the bottom of this figure, it has the tail, so how did it put in the tail, so I didn't know if it, this one had the same. Again, you do want some strong scissors for this, since they do have some big, um, make strappings, like this. Now I just need to figure out how to do this. Wow. This is incredibly difficult. Alright, this, again, King Kong is really hard to get out because it's here, you can kind of like hit it like there or here. Him, it's so wrapped around tightly that you can't get a good grip in with the scissors. So I do say, yeah, this is very hard. There we go. Wow, they really packaged this well. Alright, I'm gonna try to wiggle it out. <laughs> When in doubt, we go it out. <sighs> Alright, so we got our King Kong figure out. Now we need to get the axe and his arm piece. Oh, it's taped. Thank God, I thought it was connected to the packaging for a second there.
my god, this is way too much packaging. Alright, so we got the axe out. It's the mail thing. I'm just wondering if this. Which way does this go in? Oh, this way. This is actually kind of a soft rubber material. Ooh, all right, that fits in really well, actually. You can barely even see it. Then, if you want to get it out, how the heck do you get it? There's a little hole right here that kind of... And in there. So, I do say cool feature. It kind of reminds me of the Jurassic World um, feature of breaking it out which is kind of cool but I can't remember which way it goes gosh darn it all right there we go we got it in. then we get to have Kong hold his axe which looks like it's kind of made of Godzilla it's really good deal detailing but it kind of looks like it's Godzilla scales and a bone, which I don't know how he's going to get a bone this size. I do you think it's cool that King Kong has an axe the size of a building, though? Alright, so this could, does fall out, I was wondering. And there's King Kong with his axe. And me not knowing which way his arm goes. This guy does have it all detail though. He could bend his legs, which the other one can't say he can. Oh, his feet doesn't move. That's one thing he this King Kong figure has against him. He is his feet can swivel, and his can't. But his legs can bend, so that's one thing this guy doesn't have. He also can turn his head all the way around, something the other one can do. He has all the arm articulation. So about the articulation of a playmate's figure. Because they add a lot of articulation. So that is King Kong. Oh, he fell. He can't stand. Wait, can he really stand? He can I know he stands. Yeah, he can stand. He just need to kind of pose his feet again. Next, we're going on to Godzilla. His tail comes apart. I'm gonna try a different approach by going for the box. Alright, so the box seems to be working quite well. Alright, so we have that. I really do not know, but I'm just going to try doing this. Well, we got Godzilla out. Wait, it's stuck in his spines. Let me get his tail, though. <laughs> when in doubt, just do that. I just kind of, now it's stuck to it. <laughs> wow, I hate this packaging. <laughs> I was thinking, should I kind of set it up so it's easier to open before the video? I was so gosh darn right. I, I don't know how these work. I, I, I'm not used to it. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so...
Oh wait, all right, I got it in. There we go, finally. And then we need to get this, his atomic breath out. I am a squirrel, by the way. I'm just gonna say that anytime you give me packaging, do not expect it to, to come back in one piece. This is why I was really good with this, because I knew this would happen for a second. Pick that up later. Just sick of it. The packaging is very annoying, but the figures are actually really good. Once you can get the battle damage thing in. And then you have to attach the tail. Which does remind me of this Nika one that I have. Because his tail comes off really easily. But that's not a review for this is not a review for him. Oh no. I'm actually gonna do the theater, but it does look really good figure. They do keep the same DJL, not as much as the Nika figure, but makes sense. This is Jim H. This is Nika collectible actual toy. His mouth can open and close. His tail could move. If I could get it in. His legs can go, he could kick. It's like if King Kong was here, he'd be like, eh. Ah, my shin! Because I'm Shin Godzilla. That's that's a Godzilla joke. His arms can move, and they're a little bit outwards, which is interesting. And if you open his mouth, oh wait, it doesn't attach to the back. It atta attaches from the top. And there's Godzilla breathing his atomic breath. That's actually very cool. So that is the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong toy review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!